Hey guys, welcome back to Digit.in and today we are going to review Samsung's The Frame 4K Ultra HD television which is priced at 2,74,900 rupees. As the name suggests, the Samsung frame is meant to look like a picture frame. It has a thick matte border running along the sides. The company bundles the no-gap wall mount with the TV which allows you to place it on a wall just like a picture frame. You also get Samsung's One Connect box which houses all the ports like 4 HDMI ports, 3 USB ports, 1 LAN port and 1 digital audio out. You also get Samsung's minimalistic remote with this TV. It is called the One Remote because it allows you to control all the connected devices with it. That's an excellent solution for those who use various devices with their TVs. And for those who do not prefer to wall mount their TV, Samsung gives you a basic stand in the box. Let us first tell you about the art mode, which is what the TV is all about. You can think of this as the screensaver mode on Google's Chromecast, except that Samsung uses much higher resolution images. The TV comes with a host of artwork installed out of the box, and this is all catalogued by artist names. There is an art store, which you can subscribe to for a starting price of 299 rupees and keep building your library of artwork. You get the first month free, but subscription charges start their own. Samsung also allows you to put your own pictures onto the TV. For this, you can use Samsung Smart View app. Just make sure that you use only high resolution photographs. As good as the art mode is, this is still a full featured television. The frame supports 4K video and has everything Samsung's QLED TVs do. You see the warmer tones that Samsung is known for and the high resolution content looks great. The difference between this and Samsung's QLED is primarily in brightness, while color fidelity is slightly lower as well. If you are worried about screen burn-in, Samsung is offering a 10-year warranty against it with this TV. That should convince even the most skeptical buyers. In terms of audio, Samsung has focused on loudness over fidelity. The audio experience here is good if loudness is what you care about. Dialogues don't get muddled and the TV alone would suffice for larger rooms as well. However, it lacks depth in terms of bass response. We have always been fans of Samsung software for smart TVs. Tizen is as fast and smooth as ever with all the essential apps being available. That means you can download Netflix, Amazon Prime Video and more, though Hotstar has not added support for Tizen yet. Regardless, Tizen and WebOS remain our favourite amongst TV software today. So overall at a starting price of 2,74,900 rupees, there is really no point in recommending this television. That is not because it is a poor TV, but because it caters to a very niche audience. In fact, while these prices anyway narrow down the scope of such televisions, with its art mode, Samsung is targeting a whole other buyer here. The Samsung frame will appeal to those who firstly have this kind of money and secondly are going to actually put effort into decorating their house tastefully. So what do you think about this review? Comment down below and don't forget to like and share this video. Thanks for watching.